In this video, I'm gonna teach you how you can make things full screen inside of your web browser. It's really simple and this should be a really short tutorial. Um, but as you can see here, we can full screen this little gray box and make it a full screen gray box, which is pretty cool. So let's get started. Now, the first thing is I have this basic HTML template. It's literally just a basic HTML setup uh, with a default styling, just so you can see here, just a flex container to center this stiff, a different background color and a text. This style does not matter. It does not matter how you style it. I just want to make it look kind of... Yeah, well, kind of better than, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it's better than. But anyway, and then inside of our uh, body, we have a main, a diff, a H1, and a button. Now we are gonna give our diff the ID of full screen element. This is what we're gonna toggle or grab to full screen. So we're gonna make this diff a full screen element. Before we make this diff a full screen element, however, we're gonna make the whole body, the whole document, a full screen element, just so you can see how it works. So underneath main, let's just create a script tag. There we go. And then let's actually get our button to toggle. So we're just gonna call it, we're gonna call it the toggle button. And I'm just gonna say document.query selector. And we're just gonna find the first button on our page. Obviously, if this is a big application, you've got multiple buttons, you'll probably wanna have an ID or even a, a class name to this to actually be able to get this element. But because we're keeping it simple, we're just gonna grab the button element itself. Now, once we have that button element, we can say toggle.addafed listener, and we're gonna call the click fed. Now I'm gonna use an arrow function. The reason for an arrow function, you can use a normal function or an arrow function. It doesn't matter, I just prefer this syntax. It's up to you which you choose. So the first thing we wanna do is basically, well, to be fair, we could just say document, dot request or oh, document dot document element dot request full screen so we could do this and just click toggle full screen and that will work but that is not the right way to do it you look when we click toggle it won't untoggle and it will cause some issues so the first thing we want to do is just quickly check we'll say if the doc or if not document so if we do not have a full screen element that means nothing is full screen so we can actually full screen the document which is the whole page document element which would be the body of the page basically um and we can full screen it so let's just save that hit this you can see it still works but we still cannot untoggle it unless we press escape and we want to use the button because you know we're cool people like that um, and in here, we're just gonna say else if, and we're gonna check if there is an exit full screen function. If we can use that, we're gonna say document.exit full screen. And this will exit full screen. We don't have to call it on the document element. We just exit any full screen application which is present in the document at all. Because you can only have one thing full screen at a time. So let's hit toggle full screen. And you can see there, we can now untoggle. But let's say we actually don't want to toggle the whole page. We just want to toggle a full screen from one thing. For example, how YouTube does it with their um, their YouTube player. If you didn't know, it doesn't actually full it doesn't actually full screen the video, but instead full screens the video player, and you can actually scroll down in their full screen mode. Um, but anyway, so we've got Michael out here, and we want to just get this grey box. So that's why we added this full screen element ID. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna call full screen L and we're gonna set that equal to document dot query selector and we're just gonna put a hashtag full screen element in there. I'm gonna copy this and we are just gonna replace this here. We do not need to change this. This is just checking there isn't a full screen element for the document and it will still automatically exit with this. So now we refresh toggle full screen you can see it's now the gray box that is toggled and you can do this with any element you wish to do that with all you have to do is just target it and request full screen of this object and that's all there is to it guys so thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe it really helps out the channel and it helps me make more videos and helpful tutorials like this for you and that's going to be it for this video i'll see you in the next one peace out